Right, feeder cables today. So you've got your nice new feeder cable that you've just made up, or uh, maybe it's an old one that's been laying around for a while. You want to test it, make sure it's good. What do you do? The easiest way to test it, and what I would probably do, is get a multimeter and uh, run a continuity check between the shield at both ends on both plugs. Make sure you've got continuity there. Do the same for the uh, center pin. So make sure you've got continuity between the two plugs on the center pin. And then what I would also do is measure the center pin to the shield, which theoretically you shouldn't have continuity there because if you have, that's called a short circuit and that's a problem. So that's one way of doing it. And that's all very well if, you're, if you've got your cable coiled up like this or uh, you're dealing with a short patch cable like this one. What if your cable is uh, like this one buried in the ground and runs all the way back over to where that green box is back there, which uh, is where I'm going to put a uh, quarter wave vertical for 80. Well, what I have seen people do is uh, put a short on the uh, connector at the far end between the centre pin and the shield and then run the continuity checks from this end and that'll work, that'll tell you if you've got to run all the way there and back. There is another way you can do it though, if you have one of these uh, antenna analyzers, uh, certainly the MFJs do it, I don't know about the others, I'm, I'm sure the other models will probably do it as well. Um, there is a function on here called distance to fault, which will basically tell you the distance to the break in the cable. Now, this cable, there shouldn't be a break, except for at the other end because at the other end, the cable isn't connected to anything. So if I put this MFJ on it and measure the distance to the fault, it should tell me the distance between this plug here and the plug at the other end. So let me bring the camera in close so you can see what I'm doing with the MFJ and uh, I'll show you how to do it. Right, so hopefully you can see the uh, MFJ okay. We're out in the sun, so it's a bit difficult to see the screen. So if I turn it on, of course, the other way you can uh, test the cable is put a dummy load on the other end and uh, test the uh, SWR and you should get down to one, 1 1.1 to one, something like that. So that's the other way. But the method I'm going to use is I'm going to put this into advanced mode two. So I need to press both these white buttons together. Advanced one. And again, oops, there we go, advanced two. Now, I need to know the velocity factor of my cable, which you should be able to get from the manufacturers. Um, this is formula zero, which I believe is, uh, this cable is 0.81, I believe. So we're using the uh, white buttons as up and down. So mode is down and uh, gate is up. So there you go, set 0.81. And then I'll press both buttons together to lock that in. Now, what we need to do is start on the lowest frequency. And you see where it says first there. So what we're looking at is this figure here where it says XS and your impedance. We need both the impedance and that figure XS to be zero. So we're just going to wind up through the frequency until we get to zero and see it's rising at the moment. Then it'll come back down again. There we go. Down to, now you're aiming for zero, but you might not actually achieve zero. Um, the lowest I can get there is, is uh, one. Now, as long as both the impedance and excess are down to zero or one, or as close as you can get, then uh, that's good. I'm going to press gate to lock that in. And you see now it started flashing second. So we need to uh, go up through the frequency and we're as high as we can possibly go so I'm going to go back down to the bottom of that band and uh, start again so there we go it's gone up to 16 so it's rising from where we left off before I'm going to keep going up and up till that figure starts to drop again there we go going down back down to zero or 
one close enough. So we got both the impedance and excess at zero or one. If only one of those goes down to zero, then it's no good. You need both of those down to zero. Press gate. Oops. And there it says distance to port 160.8 feet. Now, given that we're in the UK and we use metric, especially as I was educated this century, or just about, we need to convert that into uh, meters. So a quick search on Google. So what we got, 160.8 feet convert to meters is 49 meters. So I know this feeder cable is 48 meters between the point at which it goes into the ground and comes back out of the ground. So you've got a little extra on each end for the uh, tails and uh, also it drops down into the ground as well. So approaching 49, 50 meters is probably about right. So from that, I can conclude that this feeder cable, which I've buried in the ground is probably good. So there you go, a quick easy way of uh, testing a feeder cable that you can't easily access, whether it's routed through your attic or through your basement, or in this case, uh, like mine, buried in the ground there and I can't easily get to it. Um, the obvious question that's going to come up is, uh, what if there's a break in the feeder cable right next to the connector at the other end? So the reading on the uh, MFJ might be good, but it might have a break just the other end. Well, the obvious solution is to test it from both ends. So having tested this end, I'd go and test the other end and make sure I get the same figure. If you don't get the same figure from the other end, then you've probably got a break near the connector at the end. So uh, there you go. If you've got a feeder cable you can't easily get to and you've got one of these uh, MFJ antenna analyzers, then uh, that's an easy way of uh, testing your uh, feeder cables. Hope that's useful. Thank you for watching. If you like what I do, please click the thumbs up button. It lets me know that I'm heading in the right direction with the channel and gives me the confidence to keep doing what I'm doing. Don't forget to click the subscribe and also the bell button to be notified when I upload new content. If you don't like what I'm doing, feel free to click the thumbs down button. Just tell me why in the comments below. I welcome your feedback and constructive criticism will help me to improve the channel. Take care and I hope you will catch me in the next video.